Hello, Laura. Hello. Hi. Hey. And uh, um, how are you, Laura? What's been going on? I'm fine, thank you. And you, I see you are working hardly last day. Yeah, yeah, it's okay though, you know. Baby needs new shoes. No, I'm just kidding, that's an expression we have in the U.S. <laughs> when, you need, when you need money. So, um, anyway, so uh, let's see. Hey, uh, Walter, Walter, welcome back. Hi. Hey, how good are you? Morning. Hey, good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Let's see, and uh, Svetlana, am I pronouncing Hello. your name right? Hello. Hi. You attended one of my classes maybe a few weeks ago, and I haven't seen you since then, right? Yeah, okay. Yes, yes. <laughs> okay, good, good, good. Mm -hmm. And um, and are you from Russia? Yes, I'm from Russia. I live in Moscow. Okay, good, good, good. Hey, Servet. Hey, Brett. <laughs> hey. Wow, this is a great... Good, good, good. This is a great class here. Um, Oscar. Yeah. Yes. Hey, how are, how are you? you Beth? Thank you. Oh, Thank you very much. How are you? Doing well. Doing well. Um, hey, S Svetlana. Um, there's a little bit of an echo coming from you. I think it might just be one thing that we need to change, okay? Let me show you something here that will help you out, all right? Because I see you have a headset on. So there shouldn't be anything coming from you. So yeah, so look at your settings here. Watch this, okay? Check out your settings. You might just to change one thing. You might not have the right microphone selected or the right headset. I, I don't know what I'm saying. There's a little bit of echo coming from you, okay? But nothing nothing too extreme. Okay. All right. Hey Laurentino. <laughs> You know, I'll tell you, I've, so, so Laura was saying, wow, you've been working hard this past day. And I'm thinking, man, I've, I've had some students that have been working hard, too. You yes. know, uh, Laurentino has been in every class. So good, good, good. Yes, good was, to see I you was again. about to go to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And I, I think uh, Mustafa has been about in every class as well. So you guys are champs. Hello, Hazem. Yeah. Yes. Hi, teacher. Hey, you? welcome back. Welcome yeah. back. So, uh, Hazem, did what did you buy in the last class? Did we sell you a pig heart, or what did yeah, we sell you? Uh, exactly, yeah. Yeah, we sold we yes, sold you a pig yes. heart in the last class. Yeah, so. exactly. Okay. Yep. So those those of you that aren't joining in the games, okay, yeah. you missed out. Yeah. We, we sold a pig heart today. We sold yeah. a um, we sold a Death Star, okay, which was pretty cool. And we yeah. also sold a a Colingo teacher. So yeah, anyway, and the teacher and dog, <laughs> and the dog. <laughs> yeah. and so, uh, as well. Oh yeah, we sold a planet too. I, I forgot yeah. we sold um we sold Mars, yeah. right? Yeah, we sold yeah, Mars. Yeah, Mars today. and Venus. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and anyway, guys, we're we're playing this new game today. It was uh, I I thought it was interesting. It's quite funny. So good, good. Wow, boy, class is full already. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, good, good, good. So today, this is a pronunciation class, and I realize that in a lot of our pronunciation classes, we'll work on sounds, right? And then the teachers, you know, we we get up in your face, and we're like, T. L, okay, but I'm not going to do that. You don't have to see my face tonight, okay? What I want to work mm -hmm. on is I want to work on um, voiced and voiceless. And one of the things I want to work on as well is the ED sound, all right? You know, when you have verbs with the ED sound, it's hard sometimes. You know, people say like fixta instead of fixed, white, right? Uh, walkta instead of walked. We'll work on things like that, okay? So don't worry, you won't be seeing my face up in front of you. Um, we're just going to be going over different lists. And keep these lists. These are things that you should bookmark so you can go back and look at them. Now, when it comes to voiced and voiceless, the only way to learn it is through drills, okay? There's no magical thing. I'll show you some rules so you can understand the rules. We're really going through... <laughs> excuse me, really going through and just drilling these things over and over again. That's going to be the best thing to help out, okay? Uh, and let's see. Let's get on the screen share. Yeah, this is fantastic. Starting class really early today, okay? Okay, so I'll give you guys the link that are on the outside. I uh, realize that some of you um, things aren't showing up properly. Okay, let me see something. I'm going to the heck is wrong with my screen? Okay. All right. So, um, okay. So, 
let me go over here real quick. All right. So this is voiced and voiceless consonants. This is what we're going to start out with first. And by the way, folks, uh, if you're not speaking, just mute your microphone. I'll mute everybody's microphone right now, okay? And when I do, you'll hear a nice, see how quiet it is? It's so quiet, you could hear a pin drop. Ping. But really, though, it's, it's much easier, especially whoever's speaking, I need to be able to hear them as well. I didn't know if you all knew this or not, but I only have one ear, okay? That's why I always wear these headsets, so it's harder for me to hear. I'm just kidding. I got two ears, okay? Two ears, two hands, and two feet. But, um, but seriously, though, try to stay muted while the other uh, students are speaking, so that way it's clear for you to hear. It's clear for me. And Laura can even attest to this. There's times where I forget to unmute myself because I even mute myself as well. And Laura's like, are you muted? So anyway, let me continue on here. So uh, Hazem. Hello, Hazem. Yeah. Can you hear me? Yes, loud and clear. I'm going to have you start out with this, okay? And then, folks, as we continue along, we'll get into the silent letters, okay? All okay. right? And then we'll also see this chart in the end. This will really help you out with that ED. And then from now on, everybody will have a perfect ED sound. We are going to do a lot more reading today, okay? Yeah, okay. And Hazem, I want you to go ahead and start off as well, okay? Go ahead. Uh, okay. Uh, should I start to read now? Oh, please, please start with oh, one okay. problem. Mm -hmm. One yep. problem that uh, many students face in the pronunciation is whether a, con a consonant is a voiced or voiceless. Uh, the, the guide should help you understanding the differences and give you some simple rules to help you uh, have recorded this voice and voiceless a consonant page so you can listen to the examples suggest suggest suggestion suggestion uh, open the sound, mm -hmm. suggestion, uh, open the sound file in another page or a tab uh, so you can read along while you listen Okay, good, good, good. And now I've given you the link to this page, and what happens, I'm not going to open it right now, but what happens is, and you can probably see on the bottom, right, when I mouse over it, this is an MP3 file. So you can go back later and listen to this, okay? No need to listen to okay. it now, though, all right? Okay. okay. Uh, Laurentino, can you pick up where you left off on a simple explanation? Where? Uh, right here, a simple explanation. Ah, yeah. Okay. A simple explanation of voice consonants uh, is that they use the voice, this is easy to test by putting your finger on your throat. If you feel a vibration, the consonant is voiced. Here's a list of some voice consonants. Pronounce each consonant sound, now the letter, and feel the vibration of your, of your vocal what, chords. Chords. Mm -hmm. Yep, chords. go ahead and wait. Yep, and wait one second. So, so yeah, this is this is really weird. Um, not, it's not really weird, okay. But, uh, but when you when you do this, okay, all you need to do, and, and everybody do it. Come on, I, I can see some of you. Just, just put your okay, good. A lot of good participants, okay. And all you need to do is we go through these, okay. All right, and uh, yeah, and put it right on the front. Right on the front of your throat is usually the best, actually, to get the best action. Okay? And go ahead. Start to read these letters for us, Laurentino. And everybody read them together as he reads them. Okay? Go ahead, Laurentino. V, D, uh, th 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 pronounce? Yeah. Th v, yeah, like v, um, L, R, Z, J. Okay, so did you feel that? Now watch, we're going to go through the voiceless as well. You can take your fingers off for now, okay? And we'll go through the voiceless now. All right, just just continue on, uh, Laurentino, okay? All right. Uh, P, T, K, S, Sh, uh, the C-H, how does it sound? Yeah, I like the th. All right, th. Yep. Huh. And do you, do you feel that? Is, isn't that kind of weird? You know, you don't feel the vibration in the second one's the first one you do. Okay, so when you first do it, it's kind of kind of odd. You, get, you can reread them if you want, okay? All right? 
so let's uh, let's continue on, okay? And then here, all right. So the English language is such a crazy language, right? You know, we have these rules, but then there's all these different variables. I mean, it makes no sense. You know, I'm, I'm not proficient in Chinese, but when I learned Chinese, it was just it's so much more straightforward. Granted, you got to learn a bunch of characters, which is too crazy. But um, you know, in the English language, we have so many crazy rules because we get our language from so many different places. So you have to be careful here. There are some exceptions. Laura, would you read these exceptions for me, please? Okay. Uh, when consonants are put in groups, uh, they can change the voiced or voiceless quality of the consonant that, that follows. A great example of this uh, is the past simple form of regular verbs. As you know, regular verbs uh, add ed to the end uh, of the verbs in the past simple. Play, played, wash, washed, leave, lift. The past simple verbs all end in ad. However, some of the verbs are pronounced with a voiceless T sound and uh, some are pronounced with uh, the sound with the voiced D sound. Why? Here are the rules. And uh, Brett, could you uh -huh. make it a little bit bigger? It's uh... Yep, I'm working on it. Let me see here. Okay. Let me do let mm -hmm. me do one thing here to squeeze this Okay, how about now? It's okay, thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Mm -hmm, rules. If ED is preceded by a voiceless consonant sound, P, K, SH, uh, ED sounds as a voiceless, voiceless T. Remember that the E is silent. If uh, ED is preceded uh, by a voiced consonant sound D, B, V, AD sounds as a voiced D. Remember that the E is silent. If ED is preceded by a vowel sound often A, ED sound as a voiced D because vowels are always voiced. Remember that the E is silent. Expection. If ID is preceded by T, pronounce a voiced ED. Okay, good, good, good. Oh, good, real good. And we'll also, so this chart here is actually a little bit better, and we'll try to get to that today. Okay, and don't worry, I'll make this one bigger too, okay? But let's, um, I want to keep with this example for now, okay? And then um, we'll get to this later, okay? Same exceptions they have in here, okay? So let's continue on here, all right? Okay, so Mustafa. Yeah. Okay, can you continue with this, please? Okay. Uh, exception. If ED is preceded by T, pronounce a voiced ID. In this case, the E is pronounced. This pattern can also be found with uh, plural, uh, plural forms if the consent preceding the S is void S, chairs, machines, bugs. In the consonant preceding the S is voiceless S will sound as voiceless S, packs, parts, pipes, Okay, good. Speed. No, oh, that's good. And just so there's a lot of pieces here, okay? Again, this is an intermediate to advanced class, all right? Okay? And this is not going to be, well, I don't know, maybe you can pick it up at a night. Um, but really, it's something you have to start to go, okay, so you buy a voiceless, all right? Then you go back up, then you look at the voiced, and you look at voiceless, and you just kind of continue to match this. And then as you do it, you can get charts to where you, um, to where you continue to say these words, all right, and you can do them in minimal pairs as well, you know, uh, and that way you can continue to work on the speech, okay? All right, uh, go ahead, continue here with connected speech. I'll continue. 
Uh, please, Mustafa. Okay. Connected in speech. Finally, when you're speaking in sentences, the ending conson consonant sounds can change based on the following words. This is often referred so as connected speech. He is an example of a change from a voiced B in the word club to a voiceless P because of the voice T of two of the following words. We went to the club to meet some friends. Here is an example of change from a voice D, past simple verb change to voiceless T. We played tense yesterday afternoon. Okay, so good, good, good. All right, excuse me. So, um, so yeah, this is just when they're connected, right? We went to the club to meet some friends, okay? Mm -hmm. And this is, uh, mm -hmm, yeah. Uh, I have problem with R sound. Uh, girl, I say it correct or no? Girl, yeah, and and that. So we're not going to cover that tonight. But let me let me help you with this. And this is this is what I was saying. You know, I'm not going to get in your face tonight. Okay. So really, when you start to work on things like that, for those of you, you can just turn off my camera right now if you don't like. But yeah, what happens is you really have to understand how somebody's voice changes. Okay. So you said girl, right? Is that what you're having problems with? Girl, squirrel, mural, right? Okay? So you have to watch how my mouth goes, okay? Girl, twirl, yeah. squirrel, okay? And you just have to understand that, you know, when you're making that like the girl, okay, your tongue is going to hit just the top of your teeth in the back just a little bit. Girdle, girl, girl. Girl. Mm-hmm. Okay, so already once you start to understand the position of your mouth, the position of your tongue, that's when you learn how to pronounce things like that. It's not so much um, where you're you're learning so much about the voice. Well, you're learning about the voice, the voiceless, but you really need to start to understand, you know, the position of your lips, the position like when you like vice, vice. So for some reason, um, uh, when I teach Chinese students, they have a problem with vice. And it's because none of their words really have it to where your uh, teeth hit the back part of your lip, vice, you know, and they have a hard time with that, okay? So okay, it's just, th th that's that's like a, and that, that actually, that's more towards a um, beginner intermediate, but take, continue taking the uh, Colingo classes, the pronunciation classes, and usually in the beginner and intermediate, they'll cover more of that, Okay. 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 Thanks. But you could you can already feel a difference though just by understanding uh, where to put your mouth, right? No doubt. Right. Yep. Okay. Good. Good. So it's just a matter of being conscious about it. Okay. All right. So this is where it gets into a little bit. It's a little bit harder. These are kind of like lists that you just have to remember. Okay. And I see Jane's uh, on the outside. Okay. She she kidnapped the L. Okay. All right. Okay, so this is where you get into the silent letters, and you have to remember that you know we we pick up uh, some words like champagne and things like that. We pick that up from the French and so forth, and when we do that, we still kept their pronunciation. And because of that, there's really it, it's hard to get any. Um, it's hard to see all the rules with that. It's kind of just something you have to learn about the different sounds and so forth. Okay, so let me share this. Okay. Okay. All right. So good. Good. So uh, Oscar, am I, am I pronouncing your name properly, Oscar? Yes, exactly okay. right. Okay, I was making sure it wasn't silent Z. I don't know. You know, <laughs> or the Z might be, or the Z's before a G, so it has to sound like a T. You know, I mean, it's, <laughs> that would be some crazy English rule, right? And maybe on Thursdays it sounds different. Okay, so let's go through this slow, and I'm going to call on other people to help pronounce these words so we can practice these. Okay, go ahead, Oscar. Start over here, please. And oh, let me make this bigger. Um, let me see. Is no, it's not a problem. I can see. Now I can not see the whole uh, words. Yeah, yeah. I think, yes. I think this it is. is. Okay, go it ahead. Is, go ahead. Okay. Here is a list of common letter combinations with silent letters. This list contains most, most of the silent letters that give English as a second language students difficulties. 
silent B. B is not pronounced when following M at the end of a word. Climb, cram, dump, comb. Okay, good. Silent C. Oh, it's, it's good. We're going to stop a little bit, and I'm going to call on people randomly. And don't worry if you have a hard time. I'm here to help, okay? So, Walter. Hi. Hello, Walter. Hi. 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 Let's, let's pronounce these words together, okay? Are you ready? Okay. okay. Climb. Climb. Crumb. Crumb. Dumb. Dumb. Comb. Comb. Okay, good, good, good. All right. So just be thinking of these words. I'm going to pick, pick people randomly so that way I make sure that everybody's thinking of these words, okay? Go ahead, Oscar. Continue with the C and then stop after that, okay? Okay. Silent C. C is not pronounced in the. Silent C. C is not pronounced in any. Uh, S C L E, okay. Muscle. Yeah, Did I, I why say it right? Yeah, muscle. 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 Ah. Mm -hmm. yep. Silent D. Yeah. Go ahead. D is not pronounced in the following common words. Hand, handkerchief, witness day. Witness day. I cannot okay. Yeah. okay. So no, no, no. It's it's okay. It's no problem. And keep in mind too, okay, that you can always go, okay. So with the dictionary, all right. There's phonetic spelling, all right. And here's the phonetic spelling. So the phonetic spelling, when there's more than one syllable, what will happen is it will tell you which syllable gets the um, gets the uh, pardon me gets the emphasis. Sorry about that. So in this one, uh, handkerchief, right? Handkerchief. Okay. Mm -hmm. Also, too, unfortunately, depending on where uh, you know us, us people from the U.S. or the U.K., we say things a little bit differently. Also, too, another interesting thing is that some words can be can be pronounced differently. So this one can be pronounced handkerchief. Uh, see, I, I naturally pronounce the chief right, or it can be handkerchief. See that? Hangerchief and hangerchief. Confused yet? Okay. Yeah. So just keep in mind, yeah, so it's so much fun, isn't it? It's like cruelty teaching people English, you know? I swear, I, I, I don't get a kick out of it, okay? I don't, I don't enjoy uh, the cruelty put in there. But, uh, but yeah, you can see even in those words, right, in one word, you can say it two different ways. And you'll also then hear our accents, right? Like you can hear, I, I have a mixed up accent. I'm a monotone, but yet I have a mixed up accent because I lived in different places in the U.S. So for me, handkerchief, okay, I can pronounce it a little bit. Yeah, I even pronounce it a little bit different, though, than what you're supposed to pronounce it here. Hanger chief. You see how I put, like, an E-R? I don't even pronounce the K, you know? But it should be properly handkerchief, okay? Handkerchief, okay? But with me, just because of where I was raised, unfortunately, hanger chief. Do you see that? And that's my bad pronunciation. So... What I'm trying to say here is it's it's difficult because you listen to different foreign speakers and even we, unfortunately, have our own accents. Like for me, and I, I'll try not to do too much teacher talk time, but for instance, okay, the word doing. When I, where I was raised, we used to say doing. Okay, what are you doing today? Okay, if you were fishing, okay, you were fishing all right so sometimes and yeah you're you're used to hearing me uh Lauren Laurentino and so are you Laura but even sometimes you guys are probably like hmm wow his, his speech sounds a little off and that's just because of where we we're raised so here let me bring it all together my point is read these rules try to find sites that have a proper way of saying things rely upon your dictionary.com which also gives the saying in here 
That way you can have the most perfect speech. Don't always rely on us teachers unless we're really, really paying attention, which we try to, okay? All right, so Laura. Yes. Are you, re are you ready for the handkerchief and Wednesday? Okay, go ahead. Handkerchief, Wednesday. Okay, how about muscle? Muscle. Okay, good, good. Uh, Svetlana? Go ahead, start it with muscle. Muscle? Mm -hmm. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, well, you already got that one. <laughs> and then uh, then go on to handkerchief, and then Wednesday. Handkerchief, Wednesday. Uh, hanker, handkerchief. Handkerchief. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep, so in there, it wants you handkerchief, right? So somebody taught you handkerchief, right? Okay, and it's okay. it's okay. I'm just saying, and, and it's all right. People can understand you. Your speech is very good. I'm just saying that the full, proper way that they have it, you can see it like in dictionary.com, okay? And don't don't worry, folks, okay? Uh, we just keep on going. So, uh, yeah, like like hang glider. Very good, uh, Laurentino. Uh, servette, yep. onto the silent E. E is not pronounced at the end of words and usually makes the vowel long. Hope, drive, gave, right, sight. Mm -hmm. Yep, good, good, good. So yeah, and that's where you get into the short vowel and long vowel sounds, okay? And let me pull up something. I'll give you a link. I got it actually on another, uh, another browser, okay? All right, and uh, let's see here. So, oh, I lost somebody. Hey, Jane, there's an extra seat. You can come on in, all right? So, Hazem. Yes. Okay. Go ahead and read with me, okay? Hope. Okay. Hope. Drive. 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 Gave. Gave. Right. Right. Sight. Sight. Okay, good, good. Go ahead, Laurentino. Repeat those words. This one's hope. Go ahead. Hope, drive, gave, right. And sight. Okay. Ah, yeah. Right. Yep. And then when you, yep. And then when you want to work on. These sounds, there's things called minimal pairs, and let me let me pull up something real quick. And pardon me, I have this on another place. Okay. All right, there they are. Why am I so slow? All right. So I like this site when it comes to um, when it comes to doing minimal pairs and different things like that. All right. Usually it is best though when you're when you're with the teacher and so forth, but this is where you get into the short and the long. All right. So for instance, with the long a, all right. Again, you're going to have more than one vowel, or you're going to have special cases like with say and ray, mate, gain, as opposed to when you have the short a. We won't get into all this right now, but you know you don't have that second vowel except like this quack, you know. But that's has an a nap, bat, bag, and this is where you get into minimal pairs. But this is for another time. I'm just trying to show you an example here. Okay. Welcome, Jane. Hello. Thank you. Do you You're hear welcome. me well, teacher? What? Do you hear me well? What? No, I can hear you. I can hear you just fine. Sorry. <laughs> I should have been playing around. Yeah, okay? because I hear echo too, as Laura. Yeah, I don't. I don't know who the echoes with tonight. You know. Um, okay. Okay. <laughs> yep. All right. So let's. Uh, yeah. So let's continue on here. Okay. So. Uh, uh, Svetlana, and I'll, I'll mute everybody right now just to make sure there's no sound. Okay, so the silent G, and then also go through to the silent 
Uh, yeah, just stop at the silent G. Say that mm -hmm. for us, please. Silent G. G isn't often not pronounced when followed by an N. Uh, champagne, foreign, uh, sigh, fei. Fien. Fien. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, Sign, foreign, champagne. Okay. Champagne. Say, uh, say champagne for me again. Champagne. Uh, champagne. 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 Okay, good, good, good. And you know what's funny too is once you get in these classes, you're even more aware of how you're uh, you're saying the words. Okay. But yeah, I wonder. Oh, Hazem, I think I yeah. think maybe there there yeah there might be a little bit of echo coming from you. Okay. Sorry, I just muted you just when I called on you. Okay. Um, Jane. Yeah. And hey guys, I'm gonna go through just one more time and just mute everybody real quick. Okay, is there no echo? Okay, no echo. No. So Jane, can you read these words for us? Foreign, sign, hmm, fin, 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 I don't know. Fin, yeah. Yeah, fin. well how about the first one? Did you skip over champagne on oh, purpose? Oh, sorry. <laughs> no, no, champagne. no, it's okay. No, no, champagne. champagne. Okay, good, 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 okay. Uh, Mustafa, can you read these for us? Uh, champagne, foreign, sign, fin. Okay, say sign again. Sign. 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 Okay. Okay. Good. Sign. And when you're pronouncing these, feel free to go really slow and really smooth as you go over these. Okay. All right. Oscar. Can you yes. read these? Uh, uh, champagne, uh, foreign, sign, fine. Uh, yeah, fiend or, or, um, fiend, fiend, yep, fiend, mm -hmm. okay, and let's see here, let me check on one thing real quick, yep, okay, and this is the way, let me just pull this up for you, to give you the spelling on here, to give you the pronunciation, okay, okay, yep, and I see somebody's already playing it, fiend, Okay. All right. Okay, and um, let's uh, continue here. But there's still a little bit of echo coming from somebody. Okay. All right. So the silent G H. All right. Let's go here. Oh, Mustafa, maybe that's coming from you. Okay. Hazem. Yeah. Mustafa, you're the you're the echo guy. That's all right. Uh, we'll forgive you. Zem, the silent GH. GH is not pronounced before T and at the end of many words. Uh, so, throw, daughter, light, might, right, fight, why? Mm -hmm. Way. Way, sorry, way. No, no, it's okay. No problem. All right. Yeah. So, uh, let's see. Servette, can you read through this list? Yes. Thought, through, daughter, light, might, right, fight, way. Way. Mm -hmm. Yep. Way. Okay. And wow, maybe this is uh, this is too easy for you all. Okay. Uh, Laura, can you read through this list, please? Okay. Thought, through, daughter, light, might, right, fight. Way. Okay. All right. Okay. So now we get into the uh, the silent H. Jane, go ahead. What? When? Where? Weather? Why? 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 <laughs> mm -hmm. Yep. No. No. It's okay. Why? That's right. Why? Why me? Because oh, yeah, that's all. Why? <laughs> why me? Why? Why are you calling me? Okay. There's uh, a, there's a song called Why. There's a song called Why. Yeah. Why? Why something like that? <laughs> <I don't remember. laughs> oh no no I I I know I know what you're. Uh, is it by Annie Lennox? Uh, 
Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. I know the one you're talking about, okay? So now, now we're aging ourselves. So uh, if we both know Annie Lennox. All right, so good. So uh, Laurentino, go ahead. Uh, what, when, where, whether, why. Okay, all right. Oscar. What, when, where, whether, why. Okay. Can you can you say your um can you say when, where and whether again? When, where, whether. Okay. So so let me help you out here, okay? So with this one here, all right, and this this is where I'm gonna get right up in your face, okay? All right. So um so and you can go back and listen a little bit later and you do have good pronunciation. But with yours there's a little bit of like a like almost like a I wanna say like a Z. You know, we're a V. I think it's like a V that comes in there, okay? So so let's look at these words again, okay? When, where, weather, okay? Just just watch. When, where, weather. And what happens is my mouth, okay? They just kind of, it's kind of like the corners just hit together, okay? It's not like I'm saying very, um, you know, very, uh, variance, things like that. I think that I think your what's happening is your your top teeth are kind of hitting a little bit too much instead of just letting the sides just hit. J just watch these again, okay? When, where, weather. Watch again. When, where, weather. Okay. And I'm over exaggerating, but just just give it a shot with that in mind. It's okay, Oscar. Okay. Just try that. When, where. Weather, okay, and I'll give you the words again, so you don't have to look at my face all the time, okay. But just, it's okay. We're here to learn. Yeah, go ahead. When, where, weather. When, where, weather. When, where, weather. Okay, and did you all hear? And you'll go back. You'll hear a little bit of a difference already. Okay, you're getting rid of a little bit of that V sound. And I think what it is, is you just were touching a little too much with your teeth on your lips, okay? But good, 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 okay? You never knew that you would, uh, it's wetter, guys. <laughs> what is that, Laurentino? <laughs> what, what is that, Laurentino? I was just reading it. Wetter, guys? Yeah, for, for Hispanic people, it's weather. Because they, they can know how to pronounce it in the native language, you know? Ah, okay, okay. No, no problem, no problem. I was just checking that out. Was it wasn't laughing at anybody? It just looked a little, <laughs> little funny when I when I pulled it up. I was like, what? So, uh, so okay. Uh, uh, Swetlana. See, and even I. See, for me, Russian would be hard for me. I can't. I can barely pronounce that first sound. And then, um, uh, Ahla is in my classes, and I can. No matter what, I always try hard. I can't. Can't really say that. So, uh, Swetlana. Okay, and pardon me if I'm not pronouncing it properly. I'll take a Russian pronunciation class later. Go ahead, say these words, okay? What, when, where, whether, why. Okay, how about where again? Uh, where. Okay, good, 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 good. And yeah, feel free to go slow, you know. Paulo. Uh, yeah, we'll wait sure, jungle, why, eat the end, the end. Wait some more, Paula. He said that one, ma. So I, know I, I can speak a little bit of Chinese. I was in, in China for four years. Paula was asking about that. But really, it's, uh, it's, it's pretty, pretty horrible once it comes to it. And the only reason I had to learn it is because I had to manage Chinese, or otherwise I would have never learned it. I would have just sat in my office all day. But uh, anyway, let's, uh, let's go to you, Mustafa. Go ahead. With these what sounds when? here, okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. What, when, where, whether, why? Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. Okay. All right. And then uh Jane, did I have you do the, the what's yet? The what, when, where, whether, why? Okay. Sorry? I'm I'm just playing, Jane. Can you can you read these for me? And I just said them real fast, okay? Oh yeah. what, when, where, whether, why? <laughs> Okay, all right. Yep, why did you ask me to say those, right? Okay, so let's continue on. Uh, Laurentino, the silent H. Our honest honor, hair, 
What is it? Air. Air and air. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Okay. Crazy, huh? Isn't it, isn't it just nuts when you look at something like that? <laughs> you know? I mean, how does how does that even make sense, right? You know? I mean, it, 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 it doesn't. Do, right. Yeah, it, it's just it's it's just like air. I mean, it's just it's just air. Yeah. You know? I mean, yeah. I don't I don't know the uh, where it originally came from. Yeah, it doesn't say it here. But it's got an e on it. Um, yeah. Oh, I I completely know. I completely understand that. It's just <laughs> that's that's where what I'm trying to say is, you know, these words you just have to memorize them. I don't know how else to say it, you know. Uh, you, you know, Paul that joins a lot of the classes. I mean, he's been studying English for a long time. You know, sometimes I'll ask him about stuff, and it comes up with the same thing. It's just drilling through again and again, and also too. Um, when you wake up in the morning, what you can do is you can take these lists, okay? And as you're going through your breakfast and going through your day in the morning, just start to say these words in your head, you know? Okay, like uh, hair, like, or how the heck did I just do that? Air, you know? It's like an heir. So it's like a right of inheritance. So the heir to my estate. So maybe what you're doing while you're eating breakfast is you're thinking, wow, I wonder what Anna's going to leave me a lot of money so I can be an heir. I would love to be an heir to her estate. Wow, look at this breakfast. This would look really, this would be really great if I add some more herbs on it, right? It would be a real honor if I go to work today and get a trophy. Hmm, I got to be honest about that because, I, anyway, it sounds kind of goofy, Okay, but as you're thinking of these words in English, especially in the morning, it seems to be the best time. If you just take these lists and just play these different games in your head, that's how you're going to learn it. Okay, as funny as it uh, may sound, it definitely helps out. Okay, all right, so let's, uh, let's continue on. So Laura, can you go ahead and read these, please? H. Pronounced uh, H. With the... Uh, no, with, with the silent H. I'm not going to let you get away with it that easy, okay? Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Our, right. honest, uh -huh. honor, our, air. Mm -hmm. Our, honest, honor, air, herb. Mm -hmm. Good, good, good. Mustafa. Mustafa, go ahead. You're uh, you're still muted, Mustafa. So the only one who's hearing you right now is your cat. Okay. Okay. Let's continue on. Go ahead, Oscar. Okay. Our honest owner, a herb. Okay. Good. Uh, Servet. Yep. Our honest. Honor, air, herb. Okay, good. And uh, Svetlana, go ahead. Our honest honor, air, herb. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and even you, you look at. The, you're better off not even looking at the word air. You're better. You're better off closing your eyes because it kind of throws your mind off when you look at it, right? But air. Yep. Yep. Good. Uh, Hazem. Yes. Our, Go ahead. Uh, our honest, honest honor, air, air. Okay. Herb. Air. Herb. Air, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, that's good. Um, yeah. Yep. It's very, very close. And I, you know what? I'm just being picky, okay? And also, I'm being picky because I'm trying to be helpful, all right? So, um... So go ahead, uh, Laura. Can you do the pronounced H, please? Uh, H is pronounced at the beginning of the common words. We use the article A with voiced HA. Heal, history, hide, happy, hangover, silence. Hangover, yep. 
-hmm. Yep. No, no, it's okay. Let's go through these uh, through these here. All right. So Jane, Hill History Height Happy Hangover. Hill History Height Happy Hangover. Okay. And your 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 H is a little overpronounced. Okay. All right, yeah. but not anything bad, you know. By by the way, everybody's you're <laughs> you all How are doing I, really well. What's that? How can I improve that? Uh, date an American. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, I'm just kidding around. <laughs> no, I was I, when I was in China. I swear the only reason my girlfriend was with me was to uh, to learn English. She never would practice Chinese with me. It was crazy. <laughs> um, no, uh, you just have to continue just, just saying that. And maybe, you know, so um, hill, pill, ill. Say that. Hill, pill, ill. Mystery, history. Mystery, history. Okay. Height, bite. Height, bite. Mm -hmm. Okay, so those are minimal pairs. So then you can start to separate your H's, right? Okay, so you can okay. get that H sound. And then you also learn the other one, and then just yeah, I don't, I don't know. Um, yeah, just to continue, and it's not really, it's not, it's not bad. It's definitely understandable. It's not like that. I can hear just a little extra H, and that's coming from okay. somebody who's so monotone that I have no flavor to my voice, okay? Laurentino, go ahead. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Um, heal, history, hate, happy, and over. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, and your H, okay? So, so listen to my H. Hill, history, height, happy, hangover. Okay, so you have a very strong H, all right? Uh, granted, you know, this is a voiced H, but yet your H is a little strong. So you'd want to spend some time with some minimal pairs, you know, hill, hip, hid, height, hap, right? Okay, just going through those, and that, that's going to be the best way. And again, folks, please don't... um. Please don't take any offense because all of you have really good pronunciation, but it's just a matter of if you really want to craft it even more. Okay, uh, Laura, go through the H's for me, please. H. Yeah, the the uh, hill history height happy hangover. Go for, go through that again, please. Hill history height happy hangover. Okay, all right, Mustafa. Yeah. Okay. Uh, hell, history, height, happy, hangover. Okay. Hangover. Say his history. 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 Okay. History. History. Okay. So you picked up a little bit of an English accent, huh? You know, with the T. It's okay, Mustafa. All right. By the way, I'm not correcting everybody. Uh, in particular, okay, and I'm not, I'm not definitely not picking anybody. But Mustafa, uh, when you learned your English, were you learning more like British English when you were learning that? Yes. Okay, and there's nothing wrong with that. And Lord Dina, I don't, I don't mean like speak American, <laughs> like 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 the Dove Rednecks, like the Dove Rednecks. What do you speak? I speak American. You know, no, 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 not like that at all. I'm just saying that you know. We, we, when we're focusing on American English and the American accent, that, that's how it sounds, okay? And nothing wrong, okay. Mustafa, all right? Don't okay. get me wrong. Okay, so uh, Oscar, go ahead. Oh, heal, history, height, happy, handle. Okay, good. My buddy Servette, can you do some H's for me? Okay, uh, heal, history, height, happy, Hangover. Okay, good, good, good. And d did I have you do this shit, uh, Svetlana? Svetlana, oh boy, I need to drink some water. Don't kill me, okay, from, for how I pronounce your name, okay? Yes, okay. Right, go ahead. <laughs> Hill, history, height, happy, hangover. Uh, happy. Happy. Okay, good, good, good. All right, so let's continue on, Laura. Now with the uh, with the silent K. All 
All right, go ahead. K is not pronounced when followed by N at the beginning of a word. Knife, knee, no, knock, knowledge. Uh, say knock again. Knock. Knock. Knock, okay. okay. No, good, good, good. Okay. Um, Hazem, go ahead. Say these yes. for me, please. Uh, knife, knee, no, uh, knock, knowledge. Knowledge. Mm -hmm. Okay. Knowledge. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, Jane. Knife, knee, no, knock, knowledge. Okay, good. And Faris is asking, uh, what's the meaning of hill hangover? So Faris, all that that is, those are just when you start working like with minimal pairs, all right? Excuse me. When you start working with sounds that are uh, that are similar, okay? But when you actually, when you look at hill and hangover, there, there's too many different sounds, okay? I was just trying to get the H sound, all right? So actually, that's not a minimal pair. Jump of the gun here. Okay, so let's, um, yeah, let's continue on a little bit quicker. Okay, Mustafa, can you tell us about the silent L? Okay. Uh, L is often not pronounced before L, D, F, M, K. Uh, come, have, uh, someone, talk, back, uh, book, no, back, would, should. Okay. And yeah, but... Um, but this one here, actually, and pardon me, let's let's look this one up real quick, because balk, like in a baseball balk, I thought balk? I thought it had um, yeah balk, balk, like yep, okay. like with a baseball. Okay? okay, all right, okay, and let's see here. All right, so Laura. Can you do the uh, Can you do the silent L? Can you read that for us? I will try. Come, have, mm, salmon, talk, bark, wood, shoot. Okay. Salmon or salmon? Salmon. Okay. Salmon. Mm-hmm. Salmon, all right. So just drop the drop the L all together, okay? All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Servet. And I'm sk salmon. Yep. Yep. Um. Go ahead. Okay. Come. Half. Salmon. Talk. Buck. Wood. Shoot. Okay. All right. And I'm. Speed up just a little because I'm keep moving on. Oscar, okay. okay. Silent N. Silent N. N is not pronounced following M at the end of the word. Okay. Autumn. Hi. Mm -hmm. See, it's okay. So that's him. Okay. Him. Okay. Yep. And that again, I mean, it's you know, you're you're following the rules, but then you come up with this, him. Just like it sounds, him, her, right? Him. Okay. Pretty. <laughs> it's just, it's just hard. Don't worry about it, guys. Okay. All right. So, um, Hazem, can you read autumn, him? Autumn. Autumn, him. Okay. And go ahead, Laurentino. Autumn. That's right. How to read? Autumn. Autumn. Him. Him. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. And then let's continue on. I'm speeding it up just a little bit because I got us a little bit behind, guys. Uh, go ahead, Oscar. The silent P. Oh, silent P. Oh, psychiatrist, pneumonia, psychotherapy, psychotic. Psychotic, yeah. Psychotic. Don't worry. I yeah, don't worry. After this class, some of you might be psychotic after some of these rules. Okay, <laughs> so don't so don't worry about it. Okay, I'll send you plenty of pills. All right. So yeah, and again, just go back and and the nice thing is you can watch this class again. So let me let me say these words. Okay, psychiatrist, pneumonia, 
psychotherapy, psychotic. Okay, so you can always go back and review this. Okay, Servette, the silent S. Okay, uh, S is not pronounced before L in, in the following words, island, isle. Mm -hmm. Yep, and remember, guys, and I think uh, I think Laurentina was in my class the other day. So isle, the only time, yeah, we're working on uh, hom homonyms, right? So the only time you say isle is like isle of man, right? Okay, so it has to be to where it's like an island. It's the name of an island, right? Um, oh, what's another isle? Isle of Capri or something like that. And I probably got it wrong. I probably better not even type it. Somebody look at it and it'll be wrong. But that's when you use Isle when it's like Isle of. And it's just an island and that's how you name it. Okay? All right? Like Hawaiian Islands and then you have like Isle of Man. I'm trying to think of some other ones. Okay? And yeah, then you have Isle, like a grocery aisle. They sound exactly the same. Okay? Spelt differently. And the rules just throw you off. Okay, Servette, the silent T. Okay, T is not pronounced in these common words. Castle, Christmas, f fasten, listen, often, whistle, uh, thistle, whistle. Thistle. Mm -hmm. Thistle. Yep. Thistle. Yep. Like, watch this one, okay? Mm -hmm. So here's thistle. Thistle. Okay. Thistle. Okay, there's the L, right? And then your Christmas. Okay. Okay. Do you hear me? Christmas? Yep. Okay. So. Oi, oi, oi. Okay. Okay. Christmas. No T. I think I heard a little bit of a T. I'm not sure. Okay. Nope. All right. But Christmas. castle. Christmas, fasten, listen, often, whistle, thistle. Okay. Okay. All right, and you can you can go back. I might have uh, I might have just thought there was a T, but I thought there was a little T. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. And um, Svetlana. Okay. The silent okay. U, please. U is not pronounced before after G and before a vowel. Guess, gardens, guitar, guest. Okay, guess, guidance, guitar, guest. Okay, and I'm just trying to go through these, so if you all want to watch later, you can go back and then hear and, and try it again. Okay, go with the silent W. Uh, w is not pronounced at the beginning of a word followed by an R. Rap, right, wrong. Okay, good. Rap, right, wrong. Okay. Okay, and then here are the last ones. Go ahead. Um, w is not pronounced with these three pronouns. Who, whose, whom. Mm -hmm. Yep, good. And that's funny, though, um, because, you know, it's not pronounced, but then you have whose, and you would think if it's not pronounced, it would be hose, right? If you put in that rule, but it is, it's whose. Okay, whose? You think it'd be hose? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, so I'm going to give you this link. Unfortunately, we don't have time to go through it. Okay, yep, like the double O. Okay, so good. So actually, the next class is coming up. All right. So, and I uh, and I know I just put you through some torture. Okay, didn't mean to. All right. Okay, but it's okay. But you'll you'll get used to it. You'll get used to it. You're welcome, Oscar. Okay, uh, Svetlana, good to see you. Servette, always good to see you. Oscar, good job. Mustafa, Laura, okay. Thank you. <laughs> my new buddy, Laura Tito, yeah. my, my buddy for the day. Jane, bye-bye. Now you know how to pronounce your H sound. Hey, Zem, take care, okay? <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Bye, 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 -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye.